All right, boys, I just wanted to do a quick video here breaking down the title update that EA just released in a little bit more detail. I did throw some uh, content up about the loop blitz and how it patched the loop blitz. I do think that this is very important for the defensive meta this year. It's certainly going to change a lot of different things with some of these tunings. And so just wanted to really quickly walk you through um, a couple of things here real quick with this. And uh, let me just see if I can throw my computer screen up just to show you a we'll walk through just kind of what we got on Twitter. Uh, so I'll just kind of show you here just real briefly and then we'll talk about uh, in game how this applies so uh, over here on Twitter you see the MCS Madeline Fell Direct released this little page right here that said the title update August 29th details uh, obviously here you can see these are some of the things this is the main thing that I want to show you this is the basic article uh, you can see over here on EA's page these are just comments and response but this right here is the number one thing this just gives us a little bit better view of the of the page and you see here there's a title update available for Madden 23 it was a plan and update focused on key fixes. The first thing is tuning to pass block locomotion for tackles to get deeper against edge pressure, improved end game flow, and tuning and stability fixes. Our team is continuing to monitor, blah, 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 blah. We will be back with the full gridiron detail notes. So we'll have a video on the gridiron notes to completely understand everything that they did. But this was just kind of a quick uh, upended version. But I wanted to focus on the key word here. Tuning to pass block locomotion for tackles to get deeper against edge pressure. And this is really primarily, I think, something that they did. Um, I think that this is something that they did um, to primarily patch the loop blitz, which we're going to talk about in just a moment. And it's also something that is going to change how dollar works, which was there was two primary metas in the MCS uh, tournament. The number one meta was the 3-3 loop blitz. The number two meta was dollar 326. Um, and this is why I believe Dime 146 is, is a better version of the defense. It's why we wrote an ebook on Dime 146. And it's also why I believe Big Nickel over G is still the best defense in the game. Um, I said that from the beginning of this year. And if you want to learn how to run that defense, everything is in our patreon you guys get all the updates to that and the beauty of this is we update the ebook as ea changes things so as things shift and concepts change you get all those updates as well so uh, i would really encourage you to get into the patreon for just 10 bucks just want to look at some of these basic comments here just kind of see and i think they're just all basically whatever about the you know mutt stuff or i don't know i don't know a whole lot about that stuff to be honest i just kind of play but anyways um, let me come back over here to see if there's anything real quick on Twitter, and then we'll get into the gameplay uh, piece of this. But I think this is really an interesting thing as we talk about uh, when we get into the meta of everything and how the defense is going to play. Basically, they're tuning the pass, uh, the pass blocking. Now, what we don't want them to do, hopefully, is we don't want them to tune the sheds. We want them to tune the ability for them to actually pick up a blitzer off of the edge that's basically the idea um, and really honestly like the main blitz issue is the loop pressure so uh, with that being said i think that this is everything here so i'm going to come over here to the gameplay piece of this and show you some cool stuff that we want to cover so uh when I'm talking about the gameplay the basic gameplay uh deal and the basic fix of all of this stuff uh, i just want to show you this real quick so let me just show you the loop blitz. I did a quick video on the loop blitz explaining like how it was fixed. Uh, but I do want to show you just a, just to recap that real quick with you guys. The main two defensive metas was nickel three. They were both in the they were both found in this playbook. And the main two defensive metas was the nickel three three and the dollar three two six. So the nickel three three blitz was basically this. We could come out in LB blitz zero. We could pinch our linebackers and QB contain and essentially stand like right in here. And when we would run down, it would cause all these glitchy pass offs and as you can see here it's not very good uh anymore okay and there was all of these like little formulas that you could use to basically try to pick this up and you'll see i can stand in different spots and by and large this is not i mean i'm getting shed but they're not they're not coming in clean and that's what was happening before you could block seven and if you weren't in a play action play it was pretty dang consistent that this was going to get somebody free so as you can see here now we just have a little bit better pass protection Okay, so with that, I want to move on to the next primary meta. So obviously, 3-3 was patched, and we covered that a little bit. But now I want to move on to the other meta that was kind of a net, a, a byproduct of this, which is the di the uh, the dollar three two six spinner blitz. So if we go to the spinner blitz here, you're going to see basically this. Um, you know, the the blitz was essentially, you know, something like this. 
and then a couple different things, a couple different ways they could set it up. But basically, we'll do this version of it. And what you'll see is now only one slot corner comes free. It was previously that we were literally able to send five and get two slot corners free. So now there's like the beauty of this is this is going to create trade offs uh, when we talk, when we start to think about like the future meta of this game. So what we'll see with this is if I block my running back here, a lot of times this will just pick this blitz up. I'll be able to step up into the pocket and be able to make a read. Now you're still going to deal with sheds. Okay. Um, a free runner though, you're not getting as bad of a free runner. So, you know, this is a big deal, I think for the big time meta, because this game, it, it's going to certainly help to balance. Um, I think just the pass rush in general. Now, one thing I will say, I'm going to block my tight end. And what you'll see is again, this is able to pick this up. And now I'm able to at least have time to make a quick read before I get shed for a sack. Now the sheds are still really good. Now, with that being said, I do want to go over to my favorite defensive formation. Actually, you know what? For a second, I do want to jump over here real quick. Four, three, even six, one. Um, I honestly haven't tested this, but I just want to, I kind of want to see if I stand here, if I can get double edge pressure. And as you can see here, I kind of can, but I will say that it's not as good as it previously was. So let's see if I block my tight end to kind of seal that right side edge. And then obviously I'm going to be blitzing right in here. Let's just see how this works. And you see there, like the tight end still, you know, we tuned to fix edge picks ups, but you know, the tight end still didn't pick him up. Like, but let me just block the running back and we'll just kind of play this all out and you see that we're still able so four three even six one by and large and again this is just small sample size that i wanted to do to go through this with you guys but um four three even six one is still really decent okay uh and then and, and really i think four down lineman sets are still going to be really good i'm going to show you another basic these are all all of these blitz setups are broken down in a lot of detail in our patreon on our blitzing ebook where we teach you how to blitz out of every formation in the game so if you want to learn any of these or the why behind how this is all working or you know how to adjust when they do this or that make sure that you're in that and we're going to be updating that blitzing ebook so that you guys can have the most updated version of all of these pressures so as any update that madden releases if any of the pressures change which in this one they did change pressures we will be updating that in our blitzing ebook for you guys so that's a great resource to have but anyways um, so if you want to sign up in the description, but anyways, here's nickel normal. Uh, so nickel normal, basically you were able to kind of get some pretty crazy pressure right through here. And you see here that that's still something you can do. And I actually think that the meta is going to be shifting from three down lineman sets to four down lineman sets based off of what we're just seeing. Now, the other big thing about dollar three to six that I want to cover just really quickly, um, is the fact that. If I try to run the edge blitz, which was a big meta towards the end of Madden 22 and obviously at the beginning of this year where we just contain and then, you know, we kind of use it right in here, you're going to see that they pick this up now. So that blitz is basically dead um, because the reason that blitz was really good was because you could send two. Um, you'll see a lot of YouTube videos out there where people say, and I, you know, I'm going to send two people and get one free out of something like this. Well, this doesn't quite work very well this year anymore. So they just basically stopped that capability. And this is why I believe that you're going to see a, a massive shift to formations like nickel normal, 4-3 even, 6-1, big nickel over G, because I think that the four down lineman sets are going to be significantly superior over the long run of this game because they're going. you're still going to be able to do some really, really glitchy stuff from a pass rush perspective, which I'm about to show you. So this is why I really like big nickel over G this year. It's my favorite defense. It has all the match coverages. One other thing I do want to kind of test test here is if they fixed the show blitz out of big nickel over g i really hope that they did um there was an issue with big nickel over g and i'll show it um let me uh i gotta come out another play but let me show you that real quickly uh, but the other thing that i want to show you here real quick is the blitz but we just want to see if they fix these safeties and they certainly did not. That is awesome. Okay. Well, I would assume that this would be fixed sooner than later, but we'll see with that. There is a way around it. We cover how to how to deal with that in the ebook, um, how to deal with the safeties flipping like that. It's not really that big of a deal. It's just kind of an inconvenience. Uh, but anyways, we cover that in the ebook if you want to check out the ebook down below. But anyways, let me show you something about uh, this big nickel over G that I think people really sleep on. So uh, big nickel over G has 
in my opinion, the best alignment out of any formation in the game. And the beauty of this is we can send this safety off of this left side edge. Now, they said that they tuned it basically to make it more effective to pick these blitzes up. What you'll see here is it actually makes this specific blitz worse. So the way the dollar blitz works and the way the big nickel blitz works, they're a little bit, they're significantly different. And so the fact is we can still run you know, different concepts off of this. This is one of our other blitzes we really like. And as you see here, it didn't completely come free there, but it it it, it still is going to create some interesting things um, that we can do. Now, in an effort to patch the loop blitz, we know that this is going to do, you know, there's going to be other things that are more effective. So obviously the edge blitzes out of dollar are still like, or um, not dollar, but out of big nickel are still really good. You'll see here, I can send an edge blitz off the right. I can send an edge blitz off of the left. Now, the other thing that they said, uh, basically the way I read it was that they were gonna tune how they handled picking up the four down lineman rush. As you see here, this is a little bit better, um, just in a small sample size of a play or two. But obviously, Devin White isn't an expert pass rusher. Shaq Barrett's going up against a player with an ability over there. But you'll see here that we're still getting really good sheds from Big Nickel. And that's what you're going to see from a four down lineman perspective. Now, if I was to go to Dollar, um, let me show you something with the four down lineman or the three man rush out of Dollar. And I think it's really important if we're going to look at all this stuff that we really do take into consideration, like, how does the four or three man rush work? Because that's another thing. Because if I want to drop coverage out of dollar, do I need to send three or do I need to send four? Those are all big time things we need to talk about. So anyways, here's a four down lineman rush or a three man rush out of dollar. I'm going to blitz my guy here. And what you'll see is pretty decent. Like it's, it's not it, the offensive linemen pick it up fairly well like i move shaq barrett over the side uh where he can kind of show off his ability but by and large like i have plenty of time to beat the blitz um so the four man rush out of big nickel in my opinion is going to be far superior to the three man rush out of dollar now one last little caveat that i want to show with big nickel um you could obviously show this out of nickel normal as well but again these four down lineman rushes i think are going to be really powerful so um the other thing I want to show out of Big Nickel real briefly here is what happens when we rush three out of this formation. So I'm going to not rush that guy. And what you're going to see here is we're still going to get those quick edge sheds unlike Dollar. That's the beauty of a Big Nickel set. That's the beauty of you know some of the things that we can do from this that you can't really do from a three down lineman just in the way your base pass rush works. Uh, but as you can see here, I mean, that's kind of pretty decent pass protection. Now, this is going to open up a lot of, I think, a lot of opportunities for the passing game, uh, which I hope, uh, I, I, this is what I wanted to say lastly here, but with your you see how they get those really nice edge rush animations out of big nickel you don't get those at a dollar now you can get those out of dime one four six and that's why we chose to go with that defense um and we have a breakdown on that but um you know just something to kind of monitor here you see here i mean the old line logic is certainly improving um as we go through this so i wanted to just do a little bit of video covering some of the big picture things that are now different out of this um and then oh let me show you one other thing real quick before we take off out of four three even so one of the things that we saw we saw this on i, I want to say like just if you watch if you watch mills on twitch um not like i think it's like uh mills with a z i would say or mills I, yeah anyway whatever watch mills on twitch you'll and he runs this defense four three even right it's kind of famous for this defense he kind of created it but what you'll see with this is um one of the things that you used to be able to do out of this is you could you could basically drop these dns and purples and a lot of times these ends would come free as you see now they still get really good sheds like big nickel right but they don't come completely free like they were. And they wouldn't come free every time, of course, but they would come free a pretty decent amount. Um, and you could basically just do something like this and have this really glitchy pass rush. Well, as you see here, like, yeah, they, come f they don't come free, but they do kind of, again, widen the pocket. So as a quarterback, if I'm in the pocket here, now I can pretty easily pick up this blitz and then I have you know time to make a read, but obviously we're still getting shedded. Okay, so I've got to be able to step up in the pocket and manage that. Last thing I want to show you from a pass protection perspective is uh, I just want to show you one last thing with the dollar blitz. 
So this isn't this is the main reason why I think Trips Tight End is the best formation in the game this year. They have so many good play action plays, and you'll notice that when I run this DB Fire against this right here. Um, I'm going to be able to run my play action and have a pretty good success with the pocket. Now I'm getting shed, but you see I have a, a chance to be able to attack, to attack uh, a defense like this. So again, I'm going to just baseline, press my defense, pass commit so my blitz comes in better. And what you'll see here is I have plenty of time to throw something like that. Um, against this defense. So the beauty of play action is still very powerful in this game. And if you want to learn all of my eBooks, how I run them, everything that I, uh, you need to know, um, make sure that you jump into our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for that. Um, so, and it gets you access to literally everything and then bunch real quick. Uh, you can see here, I still can't block my tight end when I motion this guy out. However, I now can, you know, do a lot of different things from a pass protection perspective, but notice there, as you saw the bunch is still getting screamed at. So a lot of that can come of that, but the beauty of this is it just kind of like, it just changes. It just changes how we're going to play the game. You know, anytime there's a patch, there's, there's definitely changes uh, to how you want to work and how you want to now run your offense. So make sure you're in the Patreon. That way you get all those updates to everything that we're going to change as a result of this. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, the head, the link is down in the description below. 10 bucks gets you access to everything, all the eBooks and all of the updates to the eBooks. Thanks for watching.